As I would suspect, there's bound to be echoes, aren't there? The way I talk, intonation, my face, even though it's worth 35 years. That's a long time, isn't it? I meet people working on this film that weren't born when we made the first one. It's an extraordinary position to be in as an actor. What, the scale of it is mind-boggling. How many people to breakfast? I don't know, what, a thousand? In the middle of the desert, tents that are bigger than, what, like a football field? And there's people serving food in there, and then outside there's a desert storm that would make you... I mean, it's unthinkable. The, the logistic, the people working, all those people, behind the cameras, all that crew, all those stunt people, all the mechanics, all that. Unthinkable, the amount of oomph to get out there and do that every single day. Me, the Immortan, it was like uh, a prep school boy's dream. As the Immortan, I am seeing myself as somebody who is here to raise us all up, to make things better, to give these kids more of a life by giving them blood from other people that I've caught and a breeding program that's going to actually improve us, that the, there's going to be vegetables and all of these things. And we love cars, V8s, that's the answer. The big V8, let's lash another one to another one. Let's keep all this going because this is going to keep us moving. This is going to keep us on top. And that's what dictators do, isn't it? His immense flexibility and his immense tenaciousness and his general sweetness, I think. But you know that he's going to get what he wants. So I, for me, anyway, I can relax on that. Because you can never please yourself as an actor. Well, I can't please myself. So I try not to watch rushes because I think, oh, he's too fat or he's too thin or he wasn't hard enough or whatever. So I just say, oh, well, it's all right if George thinks it's okay, it's okay. So I'll just leave it up to him. And I trust that.